So here's a cow that's been on the channel before and a lot of you guys were really concerned about her and in particular concerned about breeding with her and actually wanted to chop off part of her body. So let's see what this cow is all about. This is the Hoof GP. Right, Craig, push. So this cow has a case of polydactyly, and that's basically when a cow or an animal grows an extra digit or part of a limb where it really shouldn't be growing it. This particular case means that she has an extra claw on her front right foot. In the comments of the previous video she featured in, there were many, many, many of you that said, why not just chop off that extra claw? Well actually, that is the point of this video and I want to show you exactly why we don't do that and why it's okay that we don't do that. But before explaining that, let's get her trimmed up and get her feeling more comfortable. How old is she? I've seen her a few times. So I've actually trimmed this cow four or five times and Adrian, the manager of this facility, has actually trimmed her probably around the same amount of times. Every so often she starts to show signs of becoming uncomfortable. So we put her in the crush, we trim those two main digits just like you would a normal cow and we apply a block to the outer claw. Usually at the first signs of any discomfort this cow would have been trimmed but she's actually just calved and we didn't want to trim her too close to giving birth because sometimes that could lead to some real upset. Having a third digit isn't necessarily a real issue for this cow. The only problems arise because that third digit actually causes lateral movement or side to side motion on the middle claw and that causes problems in her white line. So you can see me paring away and trying to move as much of those cracks away as possible. When I'm trimming the extra digit, I need to be exceptionally careful because it's not a normal cow's hoof, so it will not fall within the usual parameters. So instead, I'm going by the pith, that white powdery substance. That is where the horn would naturally shed off. So I'm removing all of the horn until the pith disappears. And that way I can be sure that I don't injure this cow in any way. So let's talk about why as a vet couldn't just simply chop off that extra digit. Well if you see me moving that digit around laterally you'll see that it isn't just a growth, it's a fully formed and fully functional hoof with all of the internal anatomy that the other two hoofs have including bones, veins and ligaments. So to remove it would be an incredibly complicated procedure which would lead to a very high risk of infection for this cow which could and very often does lead to the ultimate demise of a cow which undergoes an operation like that. So enough of the chat, let's crack on and make sure her other three feet are in perfect condition. Stolen ground, but now I cannot see at all to find my sound. My harmony's not broken, it's like I lost my wings. My heart is only playing on a single string. I gambled every token, I thought that we could win, but still my heart is playing on a single string. We had a mission, we had a plan But tiny changes can be hard to understand My harmonies are broken, it's like I lost my wings My heart is only... So as she steps out of the crush, it's clear that she's uncomfortable and walking awkwardly on that foot. That's because she's got that new block on her outer claw, which is quite a rare thing for a cow actually. But I can assure you from experience of trimming this cow in the past, that she'll be walking near perfectly on her next visit when we'll catch up with her. 